Mr. President Muhammad Buhari GCFRA, Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of Federal Republic of Nigeria. The Vice President Yemi Oshibayo, GCON. The Senate President, Senator Ahmad Lawan. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Femi Bajabia Miller. The National Chairman of our great party, Senator Abdullahi Adamu. My dear, loving and beautiful wife, distinguished Senator Olurebi Tinobu, Executive Governors here are present, particularly the Chairman of the Progressive Governors Forum. National Assembly members here are present. State House of Assembly members here are present. Distinguished national delegates. All our neck observers. Distinguished APC members. The media ladies and gentlemen. Today, as members of all progressive Congress, gather both in celebration and instant test of our democratic fitness, we have all waited and worked for this day to come. Now it is upon us, we must rise to the occasion. We now stand before all Nigerians. We have always said this party may well be the last best hope for Nigeria to attain its finest destiny. Those we shall use this confession to show the world that APC celebrates democracy by faithfully participating in it. Soon, we will freely and fairly nominate the person to follow President Muhammad Adubuaris as our next standard bearer. For you delegates, this is a heavy responsibility. I know you will meet this duty with the seriousness it deserves. The convention also marked the end of the first phase of year 2023 election cycle. This primary season has been one of intense competition among those who aspire to the nomination. I commend the other aspirants for the dignity and zeal with which they have conducted their campaigns. Such strong, persistent competition will make us better as a party. By today's end, you will have selected parties candidates who definitely want to see a great process to win. We must emerge from today a unified force focused 
on the cooperation and share victory. As President Buhari has said, our party's objective must be to triumph in the next year's general election at all levels. The candidate you select must deliver victory in the national election and have the personal gravity and national recognition to pull us through to victory in the state and local government elections as well. He must instill a sense of victory and confidence. Moreover, the council leaders must unite in adherence of all walks of life from all parts of the country. He must have the experience He must have the experience, leadership, knowledge, and extensive personal contact to steer the diverse, complicated Nigerian through this challenging period, a dynamic world. The other candidates are all good men and women, but I sincerely believe I am the person this moment called for. I have the experience. I led the transformation of Lagos from a dangerous, unwelcoming place in 1999 to a clean, safe, a vibrant place and the fifth largest economy in Africa today. I am a serious man with a serious purpose, and I will use all that I know and all my abilities to benefit our people. I'm a unified leader. I have constructed a formidable political structure, one that has delivered electoral victory after electoral victory. I do not put myself forward because I think this is a nomination in Nigeria. I step forward because I believe I can lead our party towards the brightest future. I have expertise, my record of corporate leadership, my financial expert, my experience is an ex as an executive governor of Lagos, make me unique among all other aspirants, giving me the requisite skill to accelerate the progressive reform that will change the face of a na our national economy. I can not, on this day, talk of a brighter and prosperous future without declaring my determination to fight terrorism and insecurity to the very end. I mourn the lives already lost, how to do everything possible to ensure justice and forever erase terror from our land. Today, you decide our presidential nominee. Let me be the man who can best articulate the vision of progress and development then implement it. Let us always honor the promise of the APC, the promise 
were made to Nigeria. I humbly ask you to nominate me as the party's presidential candidate because I am confident, competent, courageous, and ready to start from day one. God bless you.